En de rol zelf in de film, hoe is u dat mee gevallen? Het is een moeilijke rol. Ja, dat kan me wel voorstellen. Moeilijk en ik heb, ik heb heel hard gewerkt, zoals iedereen. We hebben ons best gedaan. En ik hoop dat, dat het zo ook zal aflopen waar het publiek aan mm -hmm. gaat. En uh, daar weer, is het, het was een hele een ernstig onderwerp. En ik hoop dat we het eer aan gedaan hebben. Maar... Audrey Hepburn is such an iconic presence on the screen that it is often hard to separate the personality from her art. The black dress, the big hat, the chic outfits, the haircut, all of it became a part of pop culture history. And this makes it easy to forget that A, she was also a highly acclaimed actress, and B, her filmography is not as extensive as you might think. She only made a handful of movies during the 50s after her big breakthrough with Roman Holiday. But she did end the decade with the performance that she herself was most proud of and that is also regarded by her fans as the artistic high point of her career, when she was not notable on the screen for her appearance, but only for her talents. Critics reacted very positively to her work too, describing it as a tour de force and the greatest challenge of her career, and stating that she was finally given a chance to prove depth of feeling and skill in projecting emotion and that she brings compassion and genuine understanding to the difficult role of a woman whose spiritual goals were too high for her emotions and intellect. The best performance by a British actor, Audrey Hepburn in The Nun Story. The Nun Story is a surprisingly engaging and complex story that follows a young woman who enters a convent and during the following years has to accept that she cannot live by all the rules that are created for this kind of life. Dear Lord, the more I try, the more imperfect I become. It's based on the real-life story of Marie-Louise Harbet, who also became a good friend of Audrey Hepburn and even nursed her when she got injured during the making of The Unforgiven. It's overall a movie that never judges its characters nor their intentions and gives deep insight into an unknown world. The scenes set in Africa are of course what you would expect from a movie made during that time, only one generation ago their fathers were savages in the forest. We couldn't run the hospital without them. But it's nevertheless a simple story, told in a simple manner, with a grand eye for detail and time to breathe, giving the journey of its central character the needed room to develop and engage the audience. And the fact that it is so engaging is due to Audrey Hepburn, who fulfills all expectations you might have of her and goes far, far beyond that in a performance that, like that of the quote, other Hepburn, belongs to the most unforgettable creations in Oscar history. But before I start with the praise for Audrey Hepburn's performance, just one thing. If you are in any way an actress lover like me, then The Nun Story is your bible. I mean, look at this cast list, Ben-Hur could never. We have Colleen Dewhurst fighting with Audrey Hepburn, British dames Edith Evans and Peggy Ashcroft as mentors with different styles, and many character actresses that are often only known for one movie, so it's a great treat to see familiar faces in a different surrounding. My child, I don't underestimate for a moment the seriousness of your faults. But you mustn't destroy yourself with guilt and remorse. Audrey Hepburn's performance in The Nun Story is the exact opposite of those that have been discussed so far. They were outgoing, working hard to create specific reactions from the audience and crafted for specific purposes. Audrey Hepburn, on the other hand, plays a woman who wants to learn how to hide her personality and her character so deep inside herself that only a shell with the intention to honor God remains. Have you ever assisted at an operation before? Yes. My father's Dr. Hubert von der Mal. Oh, I see. You'll say another five others and beg your soup for that little display of pride, sister. It's also a performance that never wants to bring the audience on her side or create any bond between her character and the viewer. Instead, Sister Luke's struggle between her own rules and those of the convent are displayed purely within, never aiming for a greater purpose, and the reason we follow along is because Audrey Hepburn is able to make this journey and struggle such a complex masterpiece. We shouldn't blush, I'm sure we shouldn't. How can we help it? it must mean some wrong awareness of self. Audrey Hepburn's performance in The Nun's Story certainly benefited from the structure of the movie. The story is almost divided into different chapters. Gabrielle's first arrival at the convent, her struggle to learn the rules to become a good nun, her time at a tropical school and a mental asylum, then her time in Africa and finally the years of the war. This way the story does not become one-dimensional and keeps the viewer interested. 
But again, this would not work without Audrey Hepburn's presence, as well as her astonishing ability to show years of inner struggle and discomfort without barely showing anything at all. Audrey Hepburn also beautifully displays the contradictions of Sister Luke without making them seem like a flaw of her characterization. Gabrielle is a woman who joins the convent not only to become a nun, but also to become a nurse. From the way she talks and acts, you can even think that being a nurse is more important to her, but Audrey Hepburn clearly shows that her love for God is not of secondary importance, nor does she herself value one thing more than the other. I just want to become a good nurse and a good nun and to do God's work wherever I'm sent. First become a good nun. Her first scenes clearly show how joining the convent is something she thought about in great detail and sees as the right choice for herself. At this moment, we don't need long explanations to understand her reasons, since Audrey Hepburn's performance tells it all. Now, Louise, I left some things upstairs for you and Marie. Divide the dresses, but you keep the blue ones, because blue is your color. For Sister Luke, being a nurse and being a nun complement each other. They fulfill her two biggest needs in life and fulfill her as a person. But during the movie, she has to learn that both of these passions cannot coexist in the way that she wants. Mother, why must God's helpers be struck down by five bells in the very hours when men in trouble want to talk about their souls? During the first parts of the nun story, Audrey Hepburn also succeeds to make Sister Luke's determination to become a good nun and truly inhabit the rules of the convent never phony or exaggerated, but always a truthful desire. The simplicity of the characterization works wonderfully to create a complex inner life that is always in constant struggle with itself. Goodbye. Her fight to rid herself of all pride and accept complete obedience is the primary force in her life at the convent and even if she more and more integrates herself into a nun's life, it's a fight that she cannot win. Courage needs witnesses. Yes. Real humility, on the other hand, passes unperceived between God and the soul. You have heard our phrase, do good and disappear. The amazing thing about Audrey Hepburn's work in a nun's story is that everything about this performance seems rather simple, but she reveals layer after layer to unmask the three-dimensional character in Sister Luke, and she lets the performance slowly grow with the progress of the story. Sister Luke never drastically changes, but Audrey Hepburn shows how she is still a different woman at the end, more assured in her tasks and the interaction with the other sisters. And she also works wonderfully opposite Peter Finch. We don't get what might be expected, a relationship of unrequited love or forbidden feelings, but a purely platonic, professional relationship, shaped by mutual respect and friendship. I just made a test. It'll mean my going back to Europe. But you're the only one in the whole Congo I can work with. I can't lose you. But most of all, this is a performance that displays all of its magic in the final moments. When Sister Lou comes to the decision that she cannot obey anymore, that she cannot live according to the rules of the convent while the war is raging outside its doors, Audrey Hepburn wordlessly communicates an overwhelming amount of both doubt and sincerity. Today a German war nurse died here. And try as I would, I couldn't regret it. My whole life work has been dedicated to saving lives. And I almost rejoiced. Her decision to leave the convent is made with as much determination as the one to enter, but it's a completely different situation. The scenes of Sister Luke realizing that she cannot ignore the terror of the Nazis is obviously even more touching due to Audrey Hepburn's own backstory. Spent the whole war in Arnhem. Yes. Wasn't it pretty awful? Yes, it was very bad. I did give performances to collect money for the underground, which always needed money. And what about the Germans? What did they do about it? There's no about it. Uh, there was a knock on the door and they took my uncle away, who six months later was shot, and another uncle too. And my brothers went underground. My uncles were the first hostages to be shot in Holland, and it was actually the turning point, because from that day on, an underground was formed. If ever I can be of help, tell me. Hurry, hurry. But this is not the reason for the success of her characterization, which stands firmly on its own. The last minutes of the nun story are like a punch in the stomach. Audrey Hepburn shows that this final decision is right for Sister Luke, but it still costs her more than she could imagine. And she turns this moment into one of the most devastating scenes ever recorded.
And suddenly you realize how deeply you have been drawn into the story of Sister Luke, her struggles and her happiness and how you are right with her. The miracle of Audrey Hepburn's staggering portrayal will remain in your mind forever. I love the part. It really is. It's, it's a terribly good part. It's, I would say, an exceedingly difficult one. Difficult for me, anyway. Looking at these four nominees, it is understandable why none of them took home the gold. Doris Day's performance missed the prestige and was more an acknowledgement of her general star power. Suddenly Last Summer was likely too controversial for the Academy's taste, and voters surely were hesitant to give a second Oscar to Audrey Hepburn so soon. So it is no surprise they went with one of their favorite characters, the suffering wife. <laughs>